Thanksgiving less than a week away, and if you're looking for a different appetizer or side dish to go with the me big meal, we've got just the thing. Joining us this morning, Chef Karen Hales, owner and executive chef at Zingerman's Cornman Farms, to share with us a recipe for crook neck squash soup. Yeah. Chef, thanks for coming in and check out this yeah. crook neck squash. So they were picked like three or four months ago and they've been curing off, but it's like a big old uh, butternut squash that's got a little bit of a media taste to it. So it's a really great one. Oh, I love this. Okay, so how do you how do you make this? Yeah, so we do something a little different at the farm. It's the same way we're cooking the turkeys as well. We do something called sous vide which is mm -hmm. cooking under pressure within a vacuum, which basically means in a water bath. So for us, when we make our soups, uh, we're gonna have them in a ball jar. We're gonna have it cooked down into the ball jar for us. And once okay. we've done that, we take it and we're actually going to blitz it into one of our Vitamixes to get that really silky flavor. Now, knowing a lot of people don't, and the recipe has it to be able to do it on the stove as well. But in there, you've got a lot of cream. So I'm British, so I like my, uh, <laughs> like all my creams and butters. So nice and rich. Yeah, yeah there's so, no sugar. It's just the fat. Yeah, it's good, it's good stuff. So cream, butter, what else is we've in there? We've got thyme, rosemary in there. We've got some beautiful Ann Arbor Community Farms honey in there nice. as well. Some apple for some more of the sweetness and some bay leaf and rosemary. Those all get cooked down until the squash is basically tender. And then once you blitz it, you get a beautiful soup. And I give you this guy Ooh, to give you a try it. of okay. it. I'm going to give myself a little spin of it as well. Um, but oh for goodness. us, it's one of those things that is really a comfort food for us out of the farm. Yeah, so I feel like we should cheers with that. Cheers, it's thing. it's thank delicious. You. It's really creamy. It's really light, though, too. Mm -hmm. And it's got a, a, a nice, subtle sweetness. Though. Yeah, the apple and the Ann Arbor Community Farms honey is really good in there. And for us, it's just a really nice mix of the combination, especially with the meadowlark salad that we've got on the menu as well for us. That's wonderful. And so do you guys grow this? Right at your farm too? Yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of that uh, <laughs> curing in one of our barns right now, so there's a huge pile of this stuff out there for All us. All right, so tell me a little bit more about your place, what you guys do, and you've got your own Thanksgiving menu. Yeah, so we are an event venue. Uh, we started uh, back in 2014, and we do weddings as small as about two and up to about 300 people. Wow. Different size budgets, depending mm -hmm. on what you want to do. Uh, and then we do things like this. So this is one of those community events we do of doing uh, Thanksgiving to go. So we'll probably do, I think we're something like 96 orders in right now. Really? And so the cutoff's tonight at midnight. So one of the other things we do for us being British mm -hmm. is we'll do a Sunday roast beef dinner. So we've got some of the beautiful beef tenderloin that's also been sous vide for 24 hours. Oh, so a pretty beautiful thing. You know Super that's going to be delicious. Yeah. So if you guys are thinking about, about doing the order, you got to throw in this soup. you got to throw in this soup. For so sure. good. I it's almost I don't as want good to as put the gravy. <laughs> exactly. So if people do want to to order, I mean, what's what's the actual cutoff? I know I know you said today. It's going to be night at Saturday uh, in the evening. I will tell you, if somebody calls us on Monday morning. We're always going to with Zingerman's. We'll make that happen. We'll um, we're going to be in that kitchen to that last second for yeah. sure. Yeah. And if people are doing you know things at home, are there is there any advice or tips you would give them or, or suggestions for maybe yeah. an easy holiday dish? Yeah. I mean, I got to go home and do the same thing for my family mm -hmm. before, and it's that benefit of doing all that work in advance and being able to have the easier day on there. So we do a lot of pre-prep in kitchens and so the same thing I would apply. And for me, I got a three and a five year old, so I get them involved in the prep. It's not playtime. They get to play with the food as we do the prep. So that's always a good way to keep the kids entertained while you're doing it. Yeah, it helps you out, helps them out. It, it makes it's, a it's mess, but it's just kitchen fun. mess. <laughs> it's just kitchen mess. You'd have a mess to clean up anyway, right? Absolutely, yep. <laughs> so tell us where you guys are located. So we're out in Dexter. So uh, that's just like a hop, skip, and a jump away from Ann Arbor. And so probably, you know, uh, about 40 minutes out of Detroit. And so most of our orders are coming out of Detroit, which is fantastic. People who like that it. country drive out to us. Hey, I, after tasting this soup it's 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 worth the drive let me tell you, you chef go. karen thank you Thanks, so much we'll have the recipe on our page wxyz.com